please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? Hello everyone, do forget the nature of this video, it might be a bit ranty, it is not intended to be as such, but with what we have seen over the past week courtesy of TikTok being absolute divs, it has highlighted a number of glaringly obvious issues when it comes to consumerism, but also the nature, the fickle nature of the weak tea social media influencer, and those who think they are well within their right to vandalize other people's property because, and by all means insert the obligatory excuses here that attempt to justify but actually don't justify why they're doing such stupid things in the process. The high street is dying, we all know that. Many people are going online, or still go online, either because introverted or because the offers available on sites like Amazon are just better than that of any other retailer on the high street. Okay. Because of that, you also find that a lot of younger people are quite bored because they're not doing anything outside anymore. A level of convenience has rendered part of their existence moot because they're lacking purpose. It could be because, academically speaking, they're not doing as well as they think. While in this country, A-levels are going up, or the grade A for that is going up, many more are dropping out of university quicker than they used to. A lack of conviction also because it could be that their grades are a bit too soft, given better grades when they didn't truly deserve it. And just as a personal note, my personal belief on this is that when it comes to academia, people don't seem to realise that there are levels. And I don't just mean levels to be good enough, I mean that everyone has a level of how far they can go. So those that are getting these good grades at A levels don't realise that that is as far as they can go. People have been dropping out of university for years. Seriously, I started with a class of 200. I promise you, it was barely double digits that finished. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go through a number of articles that cover some of the looting and vandalism that ties into TikTok. Because that's where a lot of people go now. They frequent it because easy way to consume stuff, it's kind of crap. TikTok is a massive mistake, unless you're watching dog videos, which I find quite funny, because dogs are awesome and so are cats. All those shops? No. The live streams? Well, the NPC thing is quite clever, I'll give them that. We've covered it here on this channel anyway. But there are other types of things going on TikTok that are quite untoward. They are in turn harming the, let's say, social credit score of the people doing the stupid acts. If you get the joke, congratulations, 10 points to your Haram Hogwarts house. You also have the issue that they're causing irreparable damage, stretching resources that shouldn't need to be stretched in the first place because of this general jackassery. There is very little in the way of accountability when it comes to TikTok, and the users, who are the responsible ones really, who are going out of their way to try and wreak as much damage or cause as many problems as possible. So yes, this could be considered another edition of TikTok's Inventive Trends, or TIT. But since most of the people involved in this are just complete and utter failed tits, so A cups, I find it quite irritating that these tits continue to do such stupid things, not realizing the level of consequence is vastly more serious than that of what they think the consequence is. And it's not just the criminal aspect that can harm their future, it's also the damage they do to some of the businesses. They're not all mainstream businesses they're harming, some are more boutique-y, and in that they are very much reliant on customers. You know, those people that go into them and exchange currency for goods. Sometimes with this rather amusing thing called cash. I hear it is going the way of the dinosaurs, the dodo, and delicious Brussels sprouts, which are entirely mythical anyway. Back on August the 9th, five people were arrested after some rowdy crowds gathered on London's busiest shopping street and rushed into stores after messages on social media called for looters to target the area. The messages were posted to TikTok and other social media channels prompted highly visible police presence in central London where officers carried out stop and searches, something which the Mayor of London is vehemently against because he believes it involves a level of racial profiling. Of course, the image here does not help the situation. And as an FYI, since stop and searches random ones were stopped by Mayor Sadiq Khan, knife crime is on the rise in London, crimes committed predominantly by one particular community. But we don't like to talk about that, we're too progressive for that folks. 
But if I were you, if you go to London, wear a knife jacket or just don't go to London. It's a shithole anyway. London's Metropolitan Police said in a statement that five people were arrested and a 24 dispersal orders were issued on Oxford Street, a street that has half a million daily visitors. It is one of the busiest streets in this country. I've been there before, by the way, and I went early when I was 17. It was so insanely busy at such an early time. It was like walking when completely surrounded by everyone. It was just impossible to move. Dispersal orders provide the police, for those who don't know, with extra powers. This allows them to break up groups of two or more people where they believe their behavior is causing a nuisance, harassment, or distress. Would you like to see this shoplifting flash mob? Because you need to see it to believe how dumb this is. Hundreds of people attended a mass shoplifting flash mob across Oxford Street in London. They've been advertised on social media. Police on horseback and officers armed with batons flooded the area and running street battles followed. Plans had been shared mostly on TikTok according to the police. Some called it an Oxford Circus JD robbery. Posts advised people to wear balaclavas and gloves. One said, don't come if you can't run. Now this isn't where the story ends and we now have to bring someone back back into the discussion that we've discussed three times in the past, each to varying levels of interest, who I thought, after having his conversations with the Tates, was going to change like a good boy. Now, as the looting, the uh, flash mob looting, yes, uh, went down so well in London, uh, they have decided to move it to South End. So they went from London to Chavy Theft Central. Southend's claim to fame is city status. I think they've been after that for a while if they haven't already got it. But also they have one of the longest piers in the country, which is also a rather weird flex. The person I'm speaking of is Mizzy, who was served with one of those um, rather amusing little award thing, the jiggy disbursements. Yes, here's the video of that. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting another dispersal order. order. Central, I'm going to wait for another dispersal order. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. No, 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 you got one yesterday yeah. somewhere else. I was going to say, yeah. because you can't be here for four hours then. You're arrested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Right. That is in, in, it's in, it's in Westminster. That's our side. Okay. That's the side. Come down so, what's, your, what's your name, brother? What's my name? We're not going to do anything. We're just going to make sure that we're here. Hey. Even Wikipedia. <laughs> hey. uh, get Google, get Google. Get Google, yeah, you can't trust Wikipedia. <laughs> Sometimes I feel slightly sorry for him because he could have just been there to go on the theme park. <laughs> Rather amusingly though, and coincidentally, although the universe is rarely so lazy as to give us a coincidence, he was also on Oxford Street and claimed he'd been stopped and searched. For no reason. Okay. He also insisted he had nothing to do with the raid, just to be clear. He had recently, for those who are curious, appeared in court in May when he was accused of entering a family's home as part of a prank bro. Now these loots, raids, yeah, IRL as opposed to World of Warcraft, maybe these people should play that instead. I know it's a dying medium, but at the same time, you get some swag that actually, you know, doesn't mean you've stolen from a shop with money, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Many shops are afraid that this social media shoplifting trend is going to spread beyond South London and Chav Essex. Although I can imagine sales of balaclavas have gone through the roof, this is hardly a good look for anyone. And while the police have issued dispersal orders for Bexley Heath, Welling, in a bid to protect the Broadway shopping centre, the centre itself has had to tell the shops they're going to hire extra security to protect their businesses. And in a message to tenants said, many of you will have seen on social media the potential threat of stores being targeted by gangs of youths who intend to steal stock. They are targeting specific towns, and Bexley Heath has been listed for this coming Saturday, the 12th of August. Whilst this may come to nothing, we have chosen to take the, th the treat seriously in order that we cover every eventuality. Hang on, wait, that says every eventually. For God's sake, can you guys not spell? You deserve to be robbed right now. <laughs> <laughs> the police in Essex set up a dispersal zone in the town until Saturday lunchtime to stop this trend from spreading. Now, I wasn't entirely sure what started this. 
I thought it might have been that streamer on Twitch setting up a giveaway, which in turn led to a massive problem somewhere else in a different country. But no, no, uh, apparently natural selection needs to reach its final form. This is the next step in that evolution. Now this concept of flash mob looting isn't new. It's been going on in America for quite some time in fact. So the concept of it has already existed. The basic premise is, a large group of you, in a coordinated manner, descend on a shop, overwhelm the staff, and take as much as you can because they can't deal with all of you. In Los Angeles, at the Westfield Topanga Shopping Center, around 4pm, a mob of criminals stole up to $100,000 worth of items from Nordstrom. The police said to criminals, it's just property taken. To those who live in the area and patronize the Topanga Mall, it is a loss of feeling safe. The police released video footage showing several people wearing black masks and clothing running out of the store with merchandise including duffel bags, purses, and other bags in their hands. There have been incidents where people step up and they try and stop them, or at least protect the merchandise. If you do that in the United Kingdom, you're likely to be arrested for assaulting them. Which isn't a joke, by the way. That is how the United Kingdom operates, because we're an absolute joke. But in America, there's a chance you can get hurt. But then, this is Los Angeles, I'm not entirely sure to what extent you're allowed to retaliate or defend. Earlier in the week, at least 30 people flooded another store at the Americana in Glendale and stole $300,000 worth of clothing and other merchandise before fleeing on foot and leaving the location in numerous vehicles. I'm not entirely sure if this one is also tied to TikTok or not, but there is a coordinated group effort here to steal what you want and leave because apparently the thrill of life isn't enough of a thrill you now must thrill because the titillating chance you might get arrested and locked up is about as close as you'll ever get to a danger wang. All this does is highlight a level of entitlement and also a level of laziness, to an extent not, yes, but the unwillingness to go and earn your possessions, instead believing you should just be able to take it. I can hardly wait for you to all divvy that up later. Because let's not forget here, targeting these shops and taking as much as you do, worth as much as it is, not only because it's a markup price and it's always through the roof and cost of living in LA is quite extorted, but also because you believe that that is your worth, that you should be allowed it cause. A status symbol for you when you get to wear it in front of your friends. Oh, look at you in your peasant supreme. I'm wearing Saint Laurent. There's a T on that, I don't know if it's silent or not. The point still stands. This paints a rather damaging and harming picture of the youth of today. There are many who want to work, yes, but then there are many who also don't and would rather do this instead. For as earlier stated in the video, a plethora of reasons that are not reasons at all. You bitches need to get used to the fact that you have limitations in how far in life you're gonna go. And the words, would you like fries with that, would be a great place for you to start. I fully understand that the employment market has changed, which is why many go self-employed. Hi, I'm self-employed. I fully understand that there are more people with issues. Yes, hi. We all have issues. Everyone has an issue, okay? You'll find it more uncommon when someone doesn't have one. I'm part of the millennial generation who are considered entitled, and yet right now I look like a saint compared to you. These trends are not trends worth jumping on, they just make you look absolutely pathetic. They show a massive disparity in age and make me, the older person here, feel old. Because I never thought to do this. When people were your age, from my generation, they steal things by putting it in their pocket or their backpack. You guys just in balaclavas and masks run into a shop, take it and run. I'll give you credit for being athletic. I'll give you credit for at least having a conversation, which is something many still can't do properly. But the fact you're willing to damage businesses in the process, and I know they have insurance. Shut the fuck up, that's not the point, you dickhead. Shows me and everyone else where you really are. How far down the ladder you sit where you think to get ahead you need to take, rather than simply earn. If you are the type to be interested in pouncing on these trends, reconsider your life, because right now your life is a joke. And many people who sit on a more right-leaning spectrum politically look down on you as lesser, not because of race, not because of gender, not because of religion, in fact, none of that, but entirely because of how far you're willing to go the wrong way to try and simply take from life. While I'm fully aware the meaning of life is 42, I'm not convinced any of you will reach that age if you don't change. 